the coaching journey. Bolly Ben here in season seven. We're at week seven right now, currently. Tennessee Tech's having a great season so far, 2 0. The start in conference play, and we are moving up in the rankings a little bit 52 at 3 and 1. Still got a lot of room to move up, uh, but hey, it's going to happen. Eastern Illinois currently the 2 0, 2 0. So this is for the top seed here in the Ohio Valley Conference. Got to make it happen. Oh, Tennessee Martin, excuse me, is up next. My bad. We all make mistakes sometimes. Either way, got to make it 3 0. Got to put the pressure on. Got to get the W. Tennessee Tech starts the game with the ball. First chance to go out there and make a statement. This offense has been ticking. Turnover bug is still happening, though. Costly fumble almost last week. And the first couple weeks, a couple interceptions. The quarterback was able to make it happen last week. Clean slate for the freshman quarterback. But those turnovers, like any time, they don't come. They don't come at great times because never a good time to turn the ball over. Go score and go score some more. First pass of the game, out to there, no star tight end. The guy's been making some plays, though. So that has been quite helpful. Minus one, hit in the backfield. And die made a big fourth down, fourth quarter catch to keep the drive going to kind of seal the game, essentially, for this team. Overthrows that tight end. A fourth down coming up right now ensuing. Got to make, make it happen here. Dies to that first down. Nice gain of four there. Keep the drive going. Tennessee Martin got beat big last year. And there's that costly fumble. But dies. Johnny on the spot. Able to make it happen. Oh, man. There it is. Not, not holding on to the football. Again, this is extreme mode. For those of you wondering why the scores are low and why the plays are short. This is tough. We're in FCS country. Tennessee Tech Golden Eagles, located in Cookville, Tennessee. It's about a couple hours south of Nashville, for those wondering. Touchdown. Way to, way to make it happen. Inside, two-point conversion is good. First quarter is over. Going to hopefully get a stop here from the defense. Not going to happen. Tennessee, T Tennessee Martin able to get the two-point conversion. So here it is. Here it is. A minute 14 to go. Tennessee Tech has to move this football. Get into scoring range. Touchdown preferable. A lot of time to move. They kind of play a little hurry up. You know, but they got they got two timeouts. Got time. Just got to make the right play. Make the right, make, make the right choice. Use the clock. Use the sidelines. That, don't drop the football. Don't give up plays. So where are you going to go with it? Make the right choice. Die able to get it in there. We're in the 40-yard line. In field goal range we go. Took 30 seconds to get there, but we're here. And first timeout is going to be used. 22 seconds left to go. Keep it moving. Keep it moving. Doesn't like what he sees. Can we get out of bounds? Okay, saves the timeout. Can use the middle of the field. And all right, six seconds left to go. To audible, audible. Oh, no, no, no. Did not use the clock the way they should have. And they go and score right away. That's a wasted drive. Should have gone, kick the field goal, bad time. Use the sidelines, something. That might cost them. That might cost them right there. Oh, boy, we'll see how it happens. That is a costly play. They want to score before the fourth quarter starts as well. And, hey, he had Pater. Just couldn't beat the one tackler. Oh, boy. Okay, hopefully that doesn't cost him. That's as good as a turnover right there. Again, you want to be an elite team. You got to be able to take advantage of the time. You got a chance to score. You got to go out there and score. And sometimes don't be too greedy. You know it's okay to be aggressive, but 
you got to understand the situation here. The business of winning football games. And the clock is ticking. First down. Third quarter. It's coming to an end. Should be the last play coming up here of the third quarter. All right. Fourth quarter. We've got to score quick. Inside move. Inside the 10-yard line to be first down and goal. And again, you don't want to... You want to have some time left in the clock. And the deflection touchdown. Kemp. Ballsy. Going for the two like they normally do. All right. Takes the lead. Minute 35 left to go in the game, but... All right, so they're down by five. They got a minute left to go. This is going to be, yeah, you know, the game is a two minute offense already. So they got a minute to go and they can't fuck around here. And that fucking play right there is the exact point of what I'm trying to say. And they're playing up top, right? They're not letting them have anything up top. Another drop, fourth down and six. This could be the game. Again, Tennessee Martin seeking its revenge, and it's an overthrow just like that. And 18 seconds. Tough way to lose. Again, that field goal at the end put a lot of pressure on him. So outside of a miracle, which, again, this team is not built for giant plays. Four seconds to go. And again, out of bounds. Tough loss there. Shut out in the second half, it looks like. Uh, nope, they scored in that fourth quarter. Never mind. Just, just bad plays all around. First loss in conference. Tennessee Martin jumps up to second place in the Ohio Valley. Criticize the coaching of that one. Bad use of play calling. And again, that field goal, lack of field goal, not really great. So we got... Gardner Webb coming up. They're 0-2 in the conference. Got to make it up here. Still got an opportunity. See you guys next week in Carolina.